So it's the next day because my camera cut off because the battery died. So we're gonna continue today. <laughs> I remember having a black shorts in my hand. Hmm. I do not know where that black shorts went, but we're just gonna take this black shorts and I already know I'm keeping it because I already invested time in putting a new zipper. So this one's staying and it's really comfy for the summertime. Then I have this jogging pants that I got from my grandma. It is really, really comfortable. It looks like you have a huge belly hanging in front, but it's comfy and it's for at home. <laughs> okay. Then I have this white shorts. Staying, not getting rid of that. Um, exactly, now I need to find the black shorts because I am debating of giving one of these away because I have two of them. If I could find it anywhere. We'll try to make the pile tinier and then maybe we'll find the black shorts. Here is a black and white striped shorts. I really like these pants, but I have never worn them except for in a photo shooting a very long time ago. Um, I think I'm gonna give them away because I've been holding on to them forever, but I don't wear them. So sadly, I'm making the choice. <laughs> this pants I want to try on again because I used to really like wearing it. It's like this baggy khaki style and I'm gonna try it on and see if I can make an outfit with it and then I'll probably keep it if I can. And I have these, I think they're Puma, not kangaroo, chill shorts, sport shorts. And I also have a plain shorts. I'm debating about getting rid of one of these, but I think one duplicate is okay, especially when it's chill clothes. I won't be too picky with that. So I'm gonna keep both of them. Okay. Now I have this pants, definitely saying no debate. It's my chill summer pants and I also wore it this winter with stockings underneath so I wouldn't be cold. Okay, now comes another dilemma. Oops, I just hit myself. If I find the other pants. Or I think I already gave away the other pants. It was this one. I didn't know if I wanted to keep this one, this one here, or this one. I don't know. I kind of like this one more because it's more 70s and more the style that I'm trying to achieve. This one is also really cute, so. Hmm but I literally had this pants on once, one time. So I'm gonna get rid of this one, but I'm going to take out the other one and give it another chance this summer because I actually really like it. And if I don't wear it this summer, then I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, now we have my purple jogging pants staying. We have my other purple pink striped jogging pants and I have this uh, kind of the same one from the same makers in blue. They're also staying, they're my chill pants. And then I have these two. They're my winter leggings. They have really nice soft stuff inside that keeps you warm for the winter. So they're definitely staying because they're really helpful. Okay, then we have these. They used to be too small and too short, but then all of a sudden they fit again around my ankles. So yeah, but I haven't had them on in a long time. So I'm gonna put them in the maybe pile and try them on, see how they make me feel. And then I'm gonna decide if I'll keep them or not. And then I have these pants. I really like them. They're my chill pants and my sleep pants, and they're just awesome. Okay. Now we have these pants. These are the pants that I talked about earlier with the red top with, mm, let me put this one. I used to wear this as a date outfit a lot, which I really enjoyed. Um, yeah, and I really like this pants because you can wear it with a lot of different things. Combinations are endless, so it is staying. 
And this pants I haven't had on for a very long time, but I'm gonna put it into the maybe try on box because I wanna fall back in love with it. It's really cute. Uh, next we have, I'm gonna start with the skirts. This skirt is staying. This skirt is also staying. It's my long black one. This little short white black one is also staying. And then here is my favorite dress. It is definitely staying. It's really, really cute and old and vintage. And then we have this red overall situation. I had it on once and since then, never again. I wish I would have gotten it in the black version because I like the color, but I have never really worn it. And it's sad for the overall because it is cute, but I just don't wear it. So I'm gonna put it into my get rid box. Maybe if I remember that it's still in there, I'll take it back out and put it on, but I have never really worn it. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it. And then I have these cute little overalls. I haven't really worn these either, but summer is coming and I'm just gonna put them on and see how I like them into the maybe box. And then we have two of the same overalls. These ones I got as a gift and these ones I bought myself. They're really cute, but I want to kind of maybe decide which one I'll keep or which one is for daily use and which one is for drawing, painting, so it can get dirty. I'm pretty sure I'm leaning towards that the green one will be outside and this one will be for housework and stuff like that. But I think I'm going to keep both because it's handy to have more than one in case one of them breaks or gets dirty and I don't want to wear it anymore. So they're going onto the keep pile. And I could not find the black version of these little high-waisted jeans. So I don't know if I want to keep dark blue or the black. That is my question, <laughs> I don't know. I would like to keep these, but I would also kind of like to keep the black ones. I wish I would have decided in the store which one I should keep. Cause the dark blue isn't too black, but the black is also really cool. So I don't know. <laughs> and I don't know where it is. I could not tell you where I put it yesterday. So I just threw everything in. So nothing would be on my floor, but now I don't know where I put it. So I think I'm going to keep these because it's practical for summer. And yeah, now we have one more pair of overalls. These are these jeans overalls and I'm definitely keeping these because I wore these a lot last summer and they are really practical and really, really cute. So those were my pants. I now found this scarf looking thingy. I bought it so I can make like a summer dress out of it, but I think it's a little too crazy. So I'm gonna put it into the giveaway box because I have never really used it. Ta-da! And now we are going to move on to, I already did that, this we're still gonna get to, my sports clothes. <laughs> All the Swedish Fall stuff and stuff that isn't from Swedish Fall. I'm gonna look at it and see when was the last time I wore it and will I still want to wear it. These two are staying, these are my black Swedish Fall leggings, my black Swedish Fall top. Um, yeah, I wear them on a regular. And this is a long sleeve sports top that you can make a little bit tighter in the front, which is also really practical for when you're doing sports. And then I have this one. I always wanted one of these old fashioned 2000 Adidas t-shirts, but I realized I did not wear it at all. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it because I haven't worn it. And then I just have my basic t-shirt keeping then I have this, I don't even know what this is. I wear this in summer when it gets really, really hot and I do sports outside or go jogging outside in summertime. Cause you die in Germany. The humidity is crazy. You barely even breathe. <laughs> then I have these cute little Puma shorts. Keeping them. I think I have two pairs of shorts only. My bras, these I'm gonna have to see if I can take in in the back because I got them in L instead of M, so they have to go into the altering pile. And then I have my gray sports bra, 
my green one, my purple one, and my pink one. They're all staying. And then I have this blue cropped top for sports. And then I have the long leggings in this berry blue. I love the color. And I have these that are matching to the bra that I just threw. The green ones that are matching to the green. Then I have, what are they called? Rider shorts, I think? Box shorts? No, I'm saying something wrong. But these belong to that blue top. They're a set. This belongs to the purple one. This I always match up with this. It looks pretty cute together. And then I still have ah, some old Adidas leggings, which I think I'm gonna get rid of because I really like the leggings that I have now with pockets. And I haven't worn this one in a long time, which is unfortunate because it's really cute and it still looks really, really good. But I'm gonna put it away and maybe sell it in a set, the two Adidas things. Maybe make a little cash on the side. <laughs> that would be great. So I'm gonna put these back in, all the pants on one pile. And then all the bras on the bottom. And then top it off with the tops. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back into its shelf. I'm not sure if it's gonna stay there because I'm not sure how I wanna sort my shelf, but I'll get there. <laughs> so here I have a bag full of clothes that I already sorted out, I think a few weeks ago. And I'm gonna go through it again because I'm not sure if I wanna get rid of everything because I just saw a few colors that I actually still liked. This item, I am always torn between. I got rid of the blue one but I think I want to keep the beige one. So I used to wear it with the leggings that I'm trying to fall back in love with. I always used to wear this as an outfit. It looked really cute and I think I'm gonna try and fall back in love with this top because it's actually really cute. So I'm gonna put it into the maybe pile and see if I can pair it with something. Now we have this purple jacket. I actually really like wearing it, but I haven't worn it in so long that I sorted it out and was ready to get rid of it. But I think I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile because maybe I can pair it with something, with my overalls. And then by this one, I think I'm gonna get rid of it because it's a little too big and I don't know how I would alter it to make it fit me. I had a really cute idea with like a black top and stuff. And it's actually really cute, but it's really boxy. I just don't know if I like it. It's also going to the maybe pile because I don't know. I don't know if I want it. And then I have these two. This I wanted to keep, but as you can see, it's really wrinkled. Now we have to iron it. Or I could wear it like this because this is apparently a new style. <sighs> I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the maybe and try it on again because why not? <laughs> And this one, I think I'm getting rid of. I've had this for so long. It looks really, really fuzzy. And it is a cute pattern. You could wear it with all kinds of stuff, but it's not really the color scheme that I'm going for in my closet right now. It's not the blue that I like. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. And here are the matching leggings from that top that I got from my grandma. They are going away. And then there's this top. I was always holding onto it because it's from the Hard Rack Cafe in Barcelona. I got it when I was there, but I have never worn it. It looks really, really cool. And it has this stuff in the back. It does this. Like I said, I didn't wear it and maybe somebody else will cherish it more than I do because it is cute and you can wear it and it has like these hanging things on the side. But like I said, I didn't wear it for a very long time. I'm thinking of giving it a second shot because maybe if I go to a rock concert in the summer, I don't really have rocky looking clothes because I'm more of a boho hippie person, but <sighs> maybe I'll keep this for good measure. <laughs> I don't know. Put it in the maybe pile and I'll try it on again. Then I have these leggings. They are a little uncomfortable 
and when you sweat in them, your butt cheeks start itching. So these are going away. And this thing I was debating on making it shorter and then sewing the arms to make them a little bit longer, but I don't think that it'll hold because it has this really weird fabric that breaks as soon as you cut into it. So I'm gonna get rid of this too. And last but not least from the bag is this little skirt. It's pretty cute and it has a little zipper in the back to close it, but it's very fuzzy and it looks a little old, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Otherwise, there are no more clothes in this bag. I'm gonna put it to the side. Now we're at the big closet and I look humongous compared <laughs> to the closet. Okay, I just thought that was a funny point to point out. Um, we are gonna start over here with all my hanging clothes. This is an overall that I have been starting to wear more often because I think it's really cute. So it is definitely staying. And what I'm gonna do right away, I'm gonna take the clothes, turn the hanger head, and I am going to hang it in backwards. This way at the end of the summer or some kind of time period that I give myself, I can see which hangers are still backwards, meaning I did not wear the item. Also meaning that I'm going to get rid of the item. Just for good measure, because if you don't wear it, why should you keep it? That's what I'm going to go for this year. Let's see how it works out. <laughs> next year I'll do an updated video of this video. <laughs> so next is this see-through dress, which I'm pretty sure is either an under dress for a dress that is also see-through, so it's not too see-through, or it's something to sleep in. To be completely honest, I don't really know, but I think I'm gonna move it to sleeping. Because I don't think I can wear this in public, especially not without a bra, so. It is really cute, it's like a little slip dress. It's gonna be my new sleeping dress. That's a cute idea, yeah. And this is going to the sleeping box. Okay, and every single loose hanger I'm gonna put on this side. So I can see which hangers or how many hangers I still have that are empty and then I can move some things from this t-shirt box onto a hanger and hang them in. This one's also empty. And then we have uh, these two dresses. They are really, really cute. I really like them. And I'm gonna wear this one in summer a lot. And this one I wore this winter with long sleeves and some stockings underneath. So I'm gonna keep both of these and I'm gonna turn them and put them in like the overall. This dress, I love it, but I had it on once, I think two years ago in summer. And do you see the problem that I have with it? It first stops, the top first stops at your waist, a little bit below your waist. And I think it looks a little too long and I'm thinking about cutting it here, shortening it, and then sewing it back on, or I'm gonna make it into a two-piece because then I can wear this top with the jeans, and that would also be really cute. And I could also just wear the skirt with a black top or something else. I think I'm gonna alter this dress because I really love it and I do not wanna give it away, but I do not like how it is cut it's not really my favorite style of dress, so I think I'm going to see what I can make out of this. Now we have one of my all-time favorite dresses, which is not going anywhere, because I can wear it as a dress. It's like a mini dress. Or I can also fold it up like the other two, or tie it up, make like a little bun here, and then wear it as a top, which is really, really practical. Then we have this one. Oh, it's so pretty. I wear this at work. I wear this with sleeves in the winter time and some stockings and it's not going anywhere. Okay, so I'm looking right now. This is the last summer dress that is in here. So it is really simple for the beach, pull it over your bikini and you can tie it here or you can wear it just as a normal day dress, but it actually says here Venice Beach, so I think it's meant for the beach. It's really cute, I love the color. It pops with my skin in the summertime when I'm a little bit darker. So I'm definitely keeping this one. And now on to my spaghetti tops, eccentric tops. I have never worn this one in public because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to wear it without a bra. And in this top, you can always see the nipples, which is a little bit 
too much for me and I think this is the front side yeah and you can make these straps into different patterns which is also really cool really versatile which is awesome but I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna wear this so it's gonna go back in but I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna get rid of it next year and this one is really cute I wear it like this over some kind of long sleeve or I just wear it like this when it's really hot in summertime and just wear some kind of shorts and it also looks really cute and then I have this one it has like a corset feel but it doesn't squish you into anything you can just wear it as a normal top and the next thing that I love about this is the buttons and the dots all over the place it's really cute but to be honest I never wore this except for once I tried it on was getting ready to leave the house and then I felt uncomfortable and took it back off so I'm gonna have to give this little bad boy some daylight because it has never been worn outside which is pretty sad if you think about it because it's really cute but yeah we're gonna put it back in and turn it around and now we have oh an empty hanger throw it down here real quick and this top i really like it for summer it's nice and cozy but it's already very fuzzy so i'm gonna have to shave it and see if they come off nice and easy and if yes i'll keep it if no then i'll just wear it as a sleeping top because it also looks really cute for that now we have this one i found new appreciation for this top last year in summer because it was really cute and it doesn't make you sweat too much and it doesn't stink if you sweat so that is pretty practical i'm definitely keeping this one and this one I have had for a very long time. This is my road trip top, I like to call it, because every time I go on a road trip, it's the easiest thing to just slip on. Bikini underneath, or a bra, or no bra. So it's really, really practical. And it's huge, it's a 42. Really awesome, it flows in the wind, and you can just wear it with some skirts, or with a short jeans. <laughs> so it's very versatile, and you can just wear it. Yeah, they're both going back into the closet. Now we have these two. This one's definitely saying I'm not even gonna debate on anything. So pretty, and it still looks as good as new as it did the day I bought it, so yeah, really cool. And this one I recently discovered because I wanted to get rid of this really bad, but with the white shorts that I showed a few minutes ago, it looks like a set, and I thought it was really cool, so it looks like I have a summer set. And now we have this top, which I am keeping because I love the flow, I just throw on a bra and then put this over and this one is almost exactly the same just that it's a little bit more concealed and you can wear it to dinner wear it to something fancy or you can wear it as a casual top so pretty practical I'm keeping both of them oh and I really like the buttons on this one they're nice and soft it's really cool okay now we have this one in my last video last year I was also debating if I should keep it, but then I kept trying it on over and over again. It looks really cute, and it's in this boho style that I'm trying to achieve. Maybe one day I'll think about dyeing it a lighter color, but I don't know how to do that yet, so I'm gonna have to first learn it, and then maybe I'll dye it like a green or a dark green I'd really like to have it in. That'd be really cute. And it has these little flowers, and then the back is open. So it's really practical for road trips and for summer. Just something to throw over, whatever you have on underneath. And these t-shirts are hanging in the closet because they are my favorite t-shirts. As you can already tell, most of them are from Friends. Because Friends is awesome. This one's staying. This one's staying. And this one is staying. Yeah. So they're all three staying, and this one is also definitely staying. I've had this on in a few videos on Instagram, on my cover videos, and I really like this. This is so cute. I really, really like it. Okay, so now we have two very, very similar things. I'm leaning more towards this one because I like that it's all flowy and it's Victoria's Secret and it's vintage. This I bought at the old store that I work in, and I don't really like the color anymore. Yes, it's like a supposed to be corduroy but or corduroy 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 i think it's corduroy <laughs> the word has lost all meaning for me right now um yes but that's what it's supposed to be or look like better said and it's going into the maybe pile because i like it because i got it in the men's section and my boss told me you can't wear a men's shirt and I was like yeah i can so i bought it and <laughs> yeah and it's in size s 
and I'm gonna put it into the maybe pile and see if I can pair it with anything. If yes, it's staying. If not, it's gonna have to unfortunately say bye-bye, but yeah, it lived a long, happy life by me. But yeah, let's put it into the maybe box. Okay, this one is staying. Like I said, I am leaning more towards this one because it's huge, it's flowy. Wear it as a sleep shirt or as a day shirt. Right now, it's still my day shirt because it still looks really good. So I'm gonna hang it back into the closet. Now we have this white basic shirt, which is definitely saying because you can wear it with anything. You can wear it without pants, with pants, with shorts, with long pants, with skirts. You can tie it up. You can style it really nice. It can be casual. It can be fancy. So yeah, this is definitely staying. Okay, so now I have, woo, whoops. Now I have my white Adidas jacket. This is staying because I think it's really cute. And this, I think, is the only item I still have from Adidas. I got rid of everything else. Oops, <laughs> but I really like it. Back here just has a few little dots. I don't know what it's from because I got this secondhand, but if you don't look at it too closely, you don't see it, look. Those little dots. You can only tell if you look at it really close. And I mostly always have my hair open when I wear this, so you won't see it anyways. <laughs> And then my grandma gave me this black basic jacket. You wear it as a jogging jacket. You can wear it with some jeans, the oversized look, which I think is really cool. And yeah, I'm gonna keep it. But if I find one in dark green, I'm getting rid of this one and keeping the one in dark green. <laughs> oh, now we have one of my favorite skirts. It's staying because my roommates and I once did like a little fashion show day and we made a really cute outfit with this, so it is definitely staying. And this I got in the mail yesterday because I ordered it. It's also a friend shirt, just that it doesn't say friends. It says homies, and I thought that was pretty cute. So I continued my addiction. <laughs> so I bought it. I'm gonna put this by the summer shirts and hang it with the hook the wrong way. Okay, first I wanna do all my belts like a little run through. This one's staying. This one's staying. This one's staying. And this one's staying, so that is done. <laughs> and then I have this fancy top that I wore for Christmas, because like I said in my last video, this is a Christmassy kind of sweater for me. I picture you wearing this kind of velvet stuff during Christmas and during the holidays. So it's staying because I had it on a lot last year. And this is one of my favorite long sleeves. And normally I don't like things that go up on my neck. Always feels like it's a little too tight around my neck, which I don't really enjoy. Just like this one, I just realized. It's also a little bit up higher, but for some reason, by these two, I don't really care as much as I used to. So yeah, I am definitely keeping this one because I wore it so much last year. <laughs> and now we have one of my favorite dresses, but I'm gonna have to put it onto a different hanger. A pants hanger. Oh, we even have a matching black hanger. So, I'm just gonna hang this on here. And this I got from a friend, and it's really cute, but I have to alter it at the top because it's a little too big. So I can't really wear it right now, but I'm still gonna hang it back in because I don't want this laying on the floor, but it has to go into the altering box. I realize I have a few things here on the floor, two things. This is the most amazing thing I have ever found in thrift store, so it is staying. And we're gonna hang it backwards as well. And this is also one of my favorite jackets, just to chill at home, throw it over something, or wear it with my flare jeans I started doing this year. Looks really, really cute. I forgot about this one. It's also a friend's sweater. It says, dress like Rachel, love like Ross, cook like Monica, laugh like Chandler, flirt like Joey, and live like Phoebe. I agree with all six. It's really cool. And it's hanging because it's my favorite sweater that I have from friends. And then we have one of my favorite jackets. The colorful rainbow one. It is staying. We're turning the head and putting it back in. And this sweater I just rediscovered this year. I think I'm gonna fold it and put it into this section because this got a little bit full the last time. So 
I think I'm gonna fold it and put it into that pile. Looks really, really cute. So I'm gonna take it off the hanger so I know that I wanna fold it. This is my only sweater that I have that is just plain black. Still has a few lines down here, having like a little bit of a pattern, but you can barely see it. And I didn't have a basic black sweater with a v-neck, so I got this one. And I was very, very happy with it. So this is gonna go back into the closet. Here we have a yellow crop top. This is mostly just for at home or as a PJ or something because it's very, very fuzzy. I'm gonna have to shave it and if it looks good after, oops, <laughs> why do I keep dropping everything? And if it looks good after I shave it, then I will keep it and use it as daily use crop top. I just realized this was still laying on the floor. This is also a crop top and I'm keeping this one because I love the colors. They're not really colors. It's black and white. <laughs> it's really cute. And you can wear it with all kinds of things and combine it, combine it, and combine it with all kinds of pants and skirts and stuff, so it's staying. Now we have one of my favorite long sleeves. I didn't fold it because it looked really wrinkly the last time, and I think I'm gonna um, hang up all of my long sleeves and just leave the t-shirts folded or think about a different purpose for this basket. Maybe I will hang up all my t-shirts so I don't have to iron them because I don't like ironing. I don't even own an ironing board but I keep t saying like I want to but I don't want to iron and I don't want to look sloppy so I think I'm gonna hang them all up. And this is going back into the closet. And then I rediscovered this really 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 cute jacket that I got from my cousin. She sorted it out of her closet but I'm gonna put it into the maybe pile so I can try it on again because I haven't worn it in a while and I want to see if I still like it. Okay, we're almost done. We still have this green crop sweater. Wear it. If it gets a little bit chilly in summer and put it over your normal outfit, you can tie it down here. But yeah, this is going back into the closet. And this is a dress, which I'm gonna have to hang up again. It looks like this. It's a really, really cute. And you can wear it with a bra, without a bra, like as a slip dress. I think it's even a slip dress. And at the side it has these fuzzy, 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 fuzzy buttons again, which I think are really, really cute. So this is definitely staying. And we're gonna hang it in backwards. Ah, that's why it's a little too long. So I'm just gonna take the bottom and throw it over the hanger so it doesn't hang too far down. We still have a, this one a plain little bit cropped black shirt and has little cute white buttons that you can open up. You could also wear it as a cute little cardigan over a cropped bra or a bralette, which is really cool. You can open it like this. Oop! <laughs> I dropped it again. And you can just open it and then you can wear it like this, which is also really cool. And I'm also going to put it back into the closet. Okay, I have a pile down here that I have to sort back into the closet and I want to make this look nice and put the clothes that belong to each other like dresses to dresses, tops to tops, t-shirts to t-shirts, and jackets to jackets. So I almost forgot my dresses and my one hat. I want to get one from a different site so my poofy hair can fit through here, but it doesn't. I have to cut it open, but I didn't think that I would break it, so I'm not going to do that. So this is staying for now. And now on to my pretty, pretty dresses. First, I have this one. I got this one from my mom because she didn't like it or didn't want it anymore. And she ordered it, and then I tried it on, and she said that I could keep it, which is really, really cool. Um, and this I wore at a wedding but I had to ask if this was too much white because I didn't want to wear white like the bride. But yeah, I love this dress. I wear it for like, like I said, weddings or if I have some kind of event, this is my go-to dress because I think it's really, really cute. Next, we have this cute purple summer dress. It's maxi, so it's really cool and you can wear it without a bra, you can wear it with a bra. It's not really padded, so you're gonna be going at your own risk, but I'm thinking about putting pads into this dress so I can wear it without a bra because it looks really weird in the back. If you have a bra on, you see the bra and then you see the straps. I don't really like that. So I think I'm gonna 
decide on putting some pads in, but that is a project for another day. And then we have this one. I tied it really weird. I'll put it up a little bit. Normally it's like huge and I have a few videos on Instagram reels where I'm in this dress and I'm just feeling myself because it is so pretty and I think it's gorgeous. It's a wrap dress which I, this is the first one that I own and it's so pretty and I'm just gonna, oops, no, no falling off. Okay, I am just gonna flip it up like I did the other dresses, turn the head around and hang it in by the other ones. And now for the last dress. It's really cute. It's a plain, plain, plain dress. I'm gonna have to try it on again if I like it like this because I am thinking about cutting it about here. So I have a skirt and a top. So I have a two piece. I think I really, really, really wanna make it a two piece because then I can wear it more ways and I don't have to buy more clothes because then I made myself some more clothes. So, I'm gonna put it into the maybe pile to try it on, and then I'm gonna see how I want to alter it. Let's see if I can do it. I don't wanna destroy it accidentally, but we're gonna try, and maybe something nice will come out of it. <laughs> we have some long jackets. Oh, I forgot one. Three, actually, I forgot. I'm gonna throw them on the floor right now. This is my cute little tiny gray jacket. It's definitely staying. I wear it for everything. And we have this one. It's very nice and colorful. It has like a witchy vibe for some reason. I really like it, but I haven't worn it in a while. So I'm going to hang it, but with the head backwards. And we have this blue one. It fuzzes all over the place, but it's so comfy and it's blue and it's the blue that I like. So it's also staying. Then I have this normal long gray one just for chill days or I use it as a robe sometimes. And now I have a, this one. This has to go into the maybe pile because it looks like a big robe. Maybe I'll use this as a robe because I've been thinking about getting myself ugh, a new one. But I really like the hoodie so maybe I will be wearing this outside again. I don't know. But this one is gonna go to the outside jackets which you see right there. <laughs> And while we're already at the outside jackets, we're gonna see which ones I wanna keep here. This one's staying, this one's staying. They're all just gonna stay. And this is my chill jacket. I wear it whenever I just wanna chill. I'm gonna hang this right here for now. And this is gonna go over here. So I have the jeans jacket. Can you still see me? Yeah. So you have the jeans jacket, you have the grandpa jacket, you have the bathrobe jacket and the green-white striped jacket. These three. And I just saw that I have another dress. This is a halter neck dress. It's also maxi. And I'm going to put it up, throw it in here, and hang it into the closet. And this basket here is all my dirty laundry. That's why I said everything in here I think I am keeping because these are the clothes that I have on all the time so it wouldn't really be that smart to get rid of them so I'm gonna have to wash these okay so I think that was all of the sorting out that I'm going to do today because I think I did a pretty good job I just realized I found the shorts the black shorts which I'm keeping I'm going to is a keep a pile and this top is really cool i have the exact same one in white because i wanted it really bad just that this one is an m the arms are a little bit tighter and by the l it's a little bit looser and it fits a little bit better but i like both of them equally the same so this one's also stained gonna put it on a hanger and i just saw that i still have this on the floor i'm thinking about making it a little bit shorter because the fabric is a little bit weird, but I love the pattern, the flowers and everything. Maybe I'll make it shorter. But I don't know if I wanna make it into something like a onesie or a dress because like I said, the fabric I think is completely 100% polyester. 
So I would be sweating my balls off in summertime. I don't think I want to do that to myself. So I'm going to put it into the altering box. Maybe I can make like a head scarf out of it or something. That would be really cool for when I don't want to do my hair. I'll just wrap them in a scarf like I should have done today. <laughs> but I did not feel like it. This is going to the altering pile. Woo! Okay. Hey, so I think that was all the sorting. I can't remember having any clothes anywhere else except for my blue sweater that I had on yesterday that I put into the wash. Otherwise, I don't think I have any more clothes anywhere. So now I'm gonna start. <sighs> what should I do now? While the Tamiya in the video is deciding on, oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> While the Tamiya in the video is deciding on what to do next, I decided that I will end the video here and continue it in a part three because the video is over 43 minutes long and I don't want to bore you so we're gonna make it into another video where I try on I think I called it maybe pile <laughs> where I try on the maybe pile and see what clothes I still want to keep and which ones I'm giving away so that will be in the next video stay tuned for more see you then bye